Well, back with another video. This time it's just two car collectibles that I have. The 1957 Plymouth Fury and the 1957 Dal Salto Fire Flight. I'm gonna start with the Dal Salto Fire Fire Fly Bad. But I'm gonna start with this one. I got this one when I was, I wanna say, I wanna say I was about 14 when I had this. And the only reason I got it was because I saw the movie Christine and I always wanted that kind of car. And when I got this car, I didn't realize that Christine was technically a 1957 Plymouth Fury. But I still love this car. What I do remember, I do remember it have I took them, I have taken this out like a couple times and I think every time I took that out something will always break on it. Hey, if you see in the back, you see in the back right here, right there, the headlight, it already popped out. And let's see, I don't think that was the first time I played with this. And now, I think the second time I took it out, the door is now loose. I mean, the other one stays out, stays in place, but not this one. No. And after a while, I just didn't want to scratch it up anymore, and I kind of put it away for a good, I want to say it's four or five years since I've seen this in my room. But ever since I look at these cars right here, it's still my favorite. I was always intrigued by the 50s. I always loved, like, the outside movie theaters for the cars. I loved the greaser jackets, I loved the sl slick back hair, the knives, you know, the the diners. That was my favorite thing, was the diners. And from there, I always wished I could have one of the, like a time machine. This and I could, didn't even have to be the Back to the Future time machine, I just wanted a time machine to leave my butt back in the 50s. I'll say the beginning of the 50s, let's say the, the, the straight up 1950s, just like that. I would have just left myself there with a box full of cash, you know, and bought myself my own place, bought my own car, and definitely, <laughs> definitely creased out my hair so much until I went bald. But other than that, I would say I would have probably missed the future of all the Netflix and all the basically stuff we have today. I mean... I mean, really, we got like what Apple watches. We got those eyeglasses, or Google glasses. My bad. And but you still can't beat the fifties. I I miss the classics. I miss the the old times. And this car right here was the inspiration when I saw these kind of models, these old fashioned models of the fifties. I always just wanted to go back and. And just by looking at them, it actually just brings me back. And it puts a smile on my face. No pun intended. So that was this one, the 1957. And over here is the Christine. The 1957 Plymouth Fury. I was, I want to say... Seven years old when I first saw my first R-rated movie, and that R-rated movie happened to be Christine. And basically, I remember my grandpa, you know, when he first got his first TV, he loved it. And he started recording everything on VCR tapes. And basically, he passed, and I got to have those tapes, and I got to watch all the movies he recorded. And basically, one of the movies he had, other than The Fly, Spider vs. The Earth, and I want to say The Shining, was Christine. And watching that movie, I was surprised how many F-words were in that movie and how I didn't get the TV turned off from my parents. But other than that, this car right here, I always, always wanted one of these cars. And just by looking at it, 
it brings back so much memories. It brings back the memories of my grandpa. I always imagine myself getting one of these cars, moving into a little old time neighborhood. What I do remember about the car, other than that it was evil, and it always killed any of the people that made the owner mad or the car mad, was the regen, uh, the he how do you say it? the healing, that no matter what many how many damage it would get, this car would always this car will always fix, and there was a scene in the movie I always was always scratching my head too is when the basically the car came back from the gas station and basically was all burnt and when the old guy or the let's say the guy that owned the warehouse was about to leave the door opens and he's all looking at the remote in his hands because he hasn't hit the button yet but the door still is open still is open i always thought that was a cool scene because it i always wondered how christine got in and out of places let's say i know in the book the car is possessed by a demon by its previous owner but in the movie it was basically the car was a demon so it just always made me wonder how christine was always getting in and out of the building without breaking down the door and it turns out the door just always opened for the christine but other than that that's going to be it for this video and i uh, hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching